Good morning all, my name is Alex from alexfergus.com and today I'm going to take Qualia for the first time. So I've just got up, it's 7.30 in the morning, slept pretty good, aura ring showing about 87, 88% uh, and I decided today is the day I'm going to try Qualia. The God Pill, as some call it. <laughs> uh, this is a product by the Neurohacker Collective. Heard many good things about it, but not big on the, what do you call this? Nootropics? I don't know. I don't know what they call it. Bio hardware upgrade. Anyway, uh, I've never really taken many things like this before, so um, brought this back from the Bulletproof Expo. Um, been meaning to try it, but I wanted to wait until my sleep sort of stabilized and everything, and which it did pretty fast. So anyway, today's the day. I'm going to um, open them up and follow the instructions. And um, yeah, I'll report back in with, with how I get on. So you know a supplement's serious when it comes with two steps. Step one, step two, and a instruction manual. Uh, step one, step two, how to use frequency for best results, disclaimer. Pretty serious stuff. But uh, again, heard many good things about it, so I'm interested. Um, I don't usually take many, like I said, I don't usually take things like this, so uh, I got told not to take the full dosage. So the full dosage is uh, three step ones on it, on an empty stomach, first thing in the morning. And uh, step two is at least half an hour later, six capsules with food. So I decided, they said, the guys told me this to take half, but I don't know, I wanna, I wanna see how I, how I go on it. So uh, I'm gonna take two thirds. So I'm gonna take two instead of three, and four instead of six. And I'll see how I go, I'll, I'll report back in, or I'll report in during the day. I can't even open this stuff. Um, and, and, uh, <laughs> Let you know how I'm feeling, and then maybe tomorrow or later in the week I'll take the full dosage. I can't, I can't get into it. We'll just cut into it. There we go. Cheers. <coughs> Choking. <coughs> I'm okay. Alright, so it's been 45 minutes or thereabouts. I've just got back from my walk and uh, watering the garden and doing a few chin ups. Uh, anyway, so that means I'm ready for step two. So I've mixed up my smoothie, so I'm gonna have it with my food. Um, as to how I'm feeling now, I mean, I don't notice anything. I don't know if I should have by now. Uh, I did real, I just realized that there is a bit of caffeine in step one, uh, 90 milligrams of caffeine, so what two thirds of that, about 60 milligrams. I, I don't drink that much coffee, well I very rarely drink coffee. Um, I had some caffeine and a ketone salt supplement on the weekend, so you know, I'm, I don't have that much caffeine I guess, so usually when I take it I do notice a bit of a pick up, um, so you know, I'm sure I'll feel pretty good from that. But there were a bunch of other things in there, rhodiola, uh, artichoke leaf extract, B12, L-theanine, uh, bio, bio PQQ, which I usually take in my supplement cupboard, so I'm not going to take that today, um, tyrosine, there's a few other things. So I mean, it will be interesting, see how it goes. Um, but yeah, step two, I mean, this is the big one, like these capsules are pretty big, and uh, you, you're meant to take six of them. I'm just going to take four, because like I said, I'm doing the two thirds dosage today, um, but looking at these, I mean you got a ton of B vitamins, a little bit of vitamin D in there as well, zinc, magnesium as well, magnesium 3 and 8 which is, which is a good one for the, uh, for the brain and cognitive function, but then you've got, uh, you got all the good stuff, half of which I don't even know what's in here, L-dopa, fossil cytosine, serine, I hope I said that right, um, ginkgo bil biloboba leaf extract, uh, and then oh, alpha GPC, curcumin, green teeth, lithium, lithium, that's cool that lithium's in there. I didn't realize that was in there, that's good. Lion's mane, L-carnitine, I mean there's a ton of stuff in there, like uh, you can check this out later. But anyway, so I'm going to take that now, I'm going to take four of those. 
the big, big suckers. And I'll uh, have my food, have my smoothie, and then check back in, um, I don't know, in, a, in an hour or two and, and give you another update. Sweet. All right, so it's been about an hour now since, since I took the uh, step two. Um, definitely feeling something here, right? So, uh, I have experimented with aniracetam and, and a few of the acetam. I can't remember the other names now. Um, I've experimented with them a few years ago and uh, I definitely noticed something with that where it's sort of, you'd have this, this energy, so to speak, like this brain energy, like you wanted to do something. Um, but I, I couldn't control it. Like it was, it was too jittery. It was too like trying to do something and then your brain thought of something else you had to do. And I was like bouncing around left, right and center. So I'm starting to notice some of that, like that, uh, energy, so to speak coming on now. Uh, I haven't started working yet. I've just sort of been mapping out my day. So I'm going to hit the, hit the computer and, and get into work now. So it'll be interesting to see if I can sort of control it and, and you know, focus that in. Um, or if I'm just like a, a complete mess bouncing around the walls. Um, it's definitely different to a, a caffeine hit because again, like I'm quite sensitive to caffeine. I, I'm, I'm a slow metabolizer, uh, but also because I don't have it very often. So I know it, um, I know caffeine has an impact on me. It's definitely different to that. Um, whether it's going to be beneficial for my work or not, I'm not too sure. Again, remember this is just like a first time use and I know, uh, I know a lot of the benefits of qualia, uh, over time, you know, they're like accumulative. So, you know, don't read into this. And I, I am kind of sensitive with these sort of things as well. So anyway, we'll, we'll pop back in in a little bit. Cheers. Hey, so just an update on the um, Qualia. It's coming up to four o'clock in the afternoon. And uh, I've just finished writing the draft copy of my blog and the sun's out, which is quite rare <laughs> in New Zealand. Uh, so I've come outside to get some sun, but anyway, how am I feeling? How's it all going? Um, yeah, I mean, it's good. So I noticed maybe about an hour or two after taking step two, uh, I definitely felt this like, I don't know, this wave of something come over me. Um, it was kind of what I touched on before, like a little bit of that jitter jitteriness, but it was a lot more focused and controlled compared to some other things I've taken in the past. Um, uh, what else? I, I did notice at one point, like I had um, a bit of a, it was weird, it was like this little spell of um, almost pain, uh, it's like a mild sort of headache and, a, and then I noticed a bit of a, a, a draw, a bit of pressure in my jaw um, come over me, it only lasted a few minutes, it wasn't, it wasn't bad, like I wasn't worried, it was just, uh, I don't know, something was kicking in I guess. Um, but it was fine, like I worked through that. As for work output, you know, the cognitive side of things, uh, to be honest, I had a pretty good plan for writing today, researching and writing. And um, I just got a call from my VA who had some videos I had to run over and or had to check over. Uh, so that kind of threw out my, my plan a little bit. So the first two or three hours where I would have been, you know, right in the heart of, of the benefits, so to speak. Um, were a little bit distracted, I guess, because because of that sort of side project that came up. Uh, so then I finally settled into work, and uh, yeah, I mean it was good. There was no massively noticeable, like I wasn't firing uh, in terms of creativity or anything like that. But the article's done. Um, felt good writing it. Uh, it wasn't one of my typical sort of in-depth reviews and you know research reviews, um, so it didn't require that much brain power. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I feel good, um, and there was no downside, so that was a good thing. Um, so what I'll probably do tomorrow is I might try the full dose just to see if there's a bit of a difference. And I also, um, I'll, I'll be curious to see how I sleep tonight. I know in the instruction manual it, it mentioned something about how it can impact your sleep for the first few nights. So my sleep's been amazing lately, um, and I track it with my aura ring. Um, so we'll be interested to see if that sort of takes a hit. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll check in I guess tomorrow morning and maybe try the full dosage tomorrow and uh, report back in. I, I do know though that uh, when I was speaking to the team over there, they were saying a lot of, a lot of the benefits are sort of from um, you know regular use. Like they've done some sort of testing and some studies and stuff. I probably should have done like a um, in back training test or something. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Uh, do a before and after 
see how I compare. Who knows? Anyway, we'll report back in later. Cheers. Morning, so day two of taking Qualia. Um, I'm gonna do the full dose today. I said pretty good. I can show you my aura ring data here. Okay, so I don't know if this is gonna show up well, and I don't know if we'll be married, sorry if it is. But anyway, um, sleep 87, high readiness, really high readiness. This is the aura ring app, by the way. I'll, I'll put a link in the show notes um, to my review. So, uh, yeah, pretty good sleep score, 87. Um, I only woke, oh, oh, oh. I only woke once, uh, which you can see there. Um, Let's get right up in this. So uh, yeah, I only woke once. It was pretty good sleep. I mean, long sleep, eight and a half hours, or eight, eight twenty. The deep sleep and REM sleep was a little bit lower. I mean, it's still really good numbers, like twenty percent there. It's amazing numbers. But I noticed my lighter sleep was a little bit higher. Um, so yeah, I mean, heart rate was pretty flat. So no mass, no noticeable changes um, in regards to my sleep after taking the Qualia. Whereas on the instruction manual it says, uh, I love how there's an instruction manual for the supplement, but it's, it says your sleep might go off a little bit. Um, resting heart rate, 49, a little bit higher than the last few days, 45 and 46, but then a few days ago it was in the 50s. I mean, yeah, nothing too crazy there. HRV score was still pretty good, 84. Um, what was it the day before? 85. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty consistent there. Body temperature was down a little bit, which has happened though, if you look back, it's happened a few times. And my re temperature this morning, I take my temperature every morning, um, was quite low as well. So that's not ideal, but whether that was the quality or not, who knows. Anyway, today uh, I'm going to take the full dose, like I said. So I've already taken step one, which was the two capsules, three capsules, whatever it was, three capsules, I think. Um, felt pretty good. This morning, went for a walk and uh, made my smoothie and watered the garden and everything. Feeling, feeling pretty good, feeling pretty positive. Um, so that's a good thing. Uh, maybe it was the extra caffeine coming in, I'm not too sure. Um, but now we'll do the full uh, six doses of this and, and see how it goes. I also gave um, my partner uh, a third of a dose today. So what's that, one and two supplements. Um, so it'll be interesting to see <laughs> How she goes as well, I'll report back in. So I've got one, two, three, four. Jesus, there's a lot of pills, aren't there? The, the, big, the big suckers. Uh, so I'm gonna pop these and uh, we'll check in later, bye. Hey, so it's two o'clock in the afternoon. I just wanna do a quick update. I think the full dose is a little bit too much for me. So, uh, hard to explain, but I feel kind of torn between overstimulated, like over, over energized, so to speak, and also tired like really tired it, it's this weird state like I feel like I could go lie down and have a nap and I feel like the body would would feel good with that but I feel like maybe the brain is a little bit too too alert too wired to be honest I don't I don't feel great uh, I've been working but uh, you know I've been easily distracted and stuff a few things that I have noticed I don't know if they're related but I've sneezed a lot it actually happened yesterday as well I don't usually sneeze Oh, I don't have allergies or anything like that, but I sneezed quite a few times yesterday and it's happened again today a few times, so coincidence, I'm not too sure. Um, I've noticed like, maybe my breath is a little bit more shallow, like I noticed, I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't like how I feel right now. I think maybe if I was training or like, I don't know, studying or, or doing some really serious work, maybe it'd be a good thing. Um, but yeah, this it just sounds like the uh, taking too much, you know, in terms of the, what I, when I was talking to the guys over in Pasadena, like they were saying, you know, some people, it's a little bit too much, you gotta lessen the dose, which is what I did yesterday, because I definitely didn't feel like this yesterday. So, um, but I wanted to see what a full dose was gonna be like. So yeah, precious little me, huh? A little bit uh, too sensitive to this sort of stuff, but, uh, I spoke to Rebecca, she, um, she took the third of a dose and she actually said she was feeling tired today, um, but didn't notice anything when she was taking it. So she looks after children, so I'm sure, you know, if, if she was struggling, she would, um, she would know, but she just felt, said she felt a bit flat, a bit tired, but she didn't have the best sleep last night, so there you go. Um, 
Yeah, I'm actually going to go have lunch. It's 2 o'clock, which is a little bit late for me, but I'm going to have lunch and hopefully just getting some solid food in me will, will help uh, get me over this little bump. Um, but yeah, I've been doing a little bit of work, a little bit of emails, got a call this afternoon. I'm glad I don't have a call right now because even, even talking to you people in this little camera of mine uh, feels a little bit difficult. So anyway. That's what the whole idea behind this video was, to, get, to give you a bit of inside, uh, inside view, so we'll check in later on, bye. Alright, so it's been a week now, or well, coming up to a week since I started with Qualia. Qualia, Qualia, there we go, Qualia. <laughs> um, how's it all going? Okay, quick, quick overview, full dosage is far too much, you know, left me jittery, spacey, a little bit. Uh, even tired as well, like I hit a bit of a wall in the afternoon, it was just, it was too much. Uh, two thirds of a dose was good, um, but it was still, a little, it, for me it was a little bit too much. Uh, it, it was bearable, but uh, I just felt uncomfortable with it. So I'm, I'm all the way back down to one third of a dose now, and I'm taking that uh, most weekdays now. So yeah, I'm just taking it Monday through to Friday, and then taking the weekends off as it recommends. Um, and it's good, I mean, I'm not bouncing off the walls. Uh, but at the same time, you know, you're not get, you, I know there's a lot, I'm leaving a lot of money on the table, so to speak. I'm missing out on a lot of gains. Um, but it, it's better for me. It's more of a manageable uh, level. Uh, I am so precious and sensitive to this stuff, huh? But anyway, so yeah, that's all I'm doing. I'm doing one capsule of step one in the morning, as soon as I get up. And then uh, two capsules of step two instead of the six. Um, about 45 minutes later when I have food. A little bit of caffeine in there, my deep sleep, uh, my sleep in general is still perfect, fine, for those of you following me on Instagram. Um, I think it's Alex Fergus Coach or something like that. Uh, you, you know, I, I share my sleep data and it's amazing, you know, like 90 to 95% in ordering, so no issues there. Uh, nothing radical though with the one third, like it's just, you know, it's what's the time, five o'clock in the afternoon here, I've got a lot done today, um, no energy crashes, good focus, you know, when I got into work it was, it was going good. Um, yeah, so it, it's nothing major to write home about with the one third, right? I would like to go back to two thirds, uh, maybe in a week or two and just sort of experiment how that's going. Um, but for now it was just too much. Uh, will I continue taking them? Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna keep taking these. I'll, I'll keep taking the one third dosage. Rebecca, my fiance, she's uh, she's been taking one third as well, and and she's similar to me. She's like, there's nothing amazing from it, but there's nothing, you know, bad from it. But you do feel a bit of a boost, I guess, <laughs> a bit of a pick me up. Um, but again, it's still very early days. It's only been a week, so I guess in a way, uh, I should probably keep doing it and then look at trying the two thirds dosage again. And uh, yeah, maybe maybe I'll change my mind, or maybe I'll have a different uh, opinion or experience in a month's time. In which case, uh, if you're watching this and it's been a month, hit me up and, and leave a comment below, and uh, I'll, give, I'll be able to give you a more uh, updated, real-time sort of overview. If you use Qualia and you like it. Uh, please let me know if you have been through this as well like the two-thirds or a whole dose was just too much for you uh, let me know what you ended up doing if you continued or you know if you if you changed the dosage around or you just gave up um, if you don't like it let me know I'm, I'm I mean you know I'm a newbie with this so uh, I'm trying to get as much experience and um, opinions from others so anyway that's all for me enjoy leave a comment below if you enjoyed it hit me up on uh, alexfergus.com on Facebook Instagram YouTube and check out my vlog bye